Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKit1313, and welcome to episode 3 of my Let's Play. Um, today, like I said, I'm just going to be continuing my, uh, little industrial craft room here. Um, maybe if I have time, I'm going to expand this, and, uh, make like a little storage area slash, uh, eventually a sorting system room. I think this, uh, I think what I'm going to do for the sorting system is uh, try to use logistics pipes because um, they have you know like all those different cool things that you could use and I've never really done anything like that before so I figured you know, why not give it a try um, so I want to start off this episode um, first off if you can see I got my bat box um, and the way this works is when you have your generator near it the generator puts power into the bat box so it you know, stores more than the generator normally could. Um, so I am going to make two macerators. Um, basically two because I don't feel like waiting for one to get done. Uh, while I have like other stuff that I need to do. Um, so let's get started on that. Um, first off, I believe I have everything I have here. Um, I'm going to need two uh, electronic circuits. Ugh. And let's see, redstone. Uh, so I got those. I'm also going to need two machine blocks. Uh, so we got those. And then we just put machine block like that, electronic circuit like that, cobblestone on the sides, and flint up top, and we get our macerator. Uh, like I said in my last episode, um, basically what a macerator does is it um, doubles your ore income. Um, what it will do is when you put an ore in there, uh, and I'm about to show you, uh, when you put an ore in there, after it finishes, um, and this is going to be a while, so as you can see from one ore I got two dust, so you know, doubles your income. Uh, so I'm just going to macerate all of that. Um, let's see what other ores. Let's uh, maestrate this gold ore, um, because something that I hope you could still do is you can um, just I'm just gonna put all that in there. Um, is you can make glowstone dust out of uh, gold dust and redstone. Uh, I'm gonna see if that's still true. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for those to uh, maestrate and think about what I'm going to do next. Alright, I'm back here, and uh, as you can see, I am just uh, waiting for this refined iron. I think what I've decided that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make an electric furnace, because uh, I'm tired of waiting for these. Uh, so let's get started on that. Let's go ahead into NEI here, and type in electric, and it should be right here. Um, so you need an iron furnace, two redstone, and an electronic circuit. Um, so to create an iron furnace, you just go ahead and go like this, get your regular furnace, upgrade that to an iron furnace. Um, oh, I need some more copper, so let's cook one of those up. I'm just going to use a wooden plank. Um, I have to eventually go mining so I can get some more coal and uh, some other resources. Um, so I'll probably just go ahead and do that off ca off camera after we get uh, this taken care of. Uh, so let's go ahead and make the uh, cable. That's not what I wanted to do. All right, so we got that. Let's make our electronic circuit. All right, and we get our electronic circuit, our iron furnace, redstone, and we get an electric furnace. Um, this is again, uh, just pretty much just an upgrade to like any regular furnace. Um, as you saw there is also an iron furnace and that is slightly faster than this furnace. Um, so it's just, you know, nice. Um, so let's see if we could find out the, uh, speed difference. As you can see it's, uh, significantly faster. Um, so yeah. Got that taken care of. I'm just going to go ahead uh, off and mine for a little bit, and I'll be back after I'm done with that. Uh, so, see you in a little bit. 
And I found some uranium. Alright, so I'm back here. Uh, just went on a very brief uh, little mining expedition. Um, but I came back up and saw that my gold, gold dust was done uh, getting macerated, macerated, however you pronounce it. Um, so I'm just going to see. I believe this works. So I'm just going to do... Uh, I believe I need four of them. Yep, it works. Uh, so this is a nice little recipe for uh, glowstone dust if you don't want to, um, you know, risk your life in the nether. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'll get back to that real quick. Um, but my pickaxe broke, so what I want to do is I want to make a um, drill. Um, I'm not going to be able to make it a diamond drill yet because I still need some more diamonds. Um, but, yeah. I need a drill. Um, so in order to do that, uh, I have my copper cooking up over here. Uh, let me go back and get my stuff out of here. I'm going to need a battery. So I need two of those. I also need electronic circuit. So I'm going to need a piece of refined iron. Um, some tin for the battery. And uh, actually a lot of refined iron. Uh, I believe it's five. Um, so let me go ahead and steal this electric furnace. Let's just cook all that up, and I'll be right back after it finishes. And alright, I think uh, six should be enough, hopefully. Let's let's hope so. Um, so I'm going to go over here. Going up, oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to make my battery. Like so. Uh, and then I'm going to make my can't make my electronic circuit. Let's get that rubber out of there. Let's make some more cables. Alright, so we got that and copper. And then we can make our electronic circuit uh, refined iron. And redstone. So we got that. And I'm going to see if I can do this without looking at the recipe. Um, oh, there we go. Mining drill. Uh, so the way this works is it never breaks, which is very nice. And uh, it can just be recharged uh, in your bat box. Um, I believe this one lasts for like two or three hundred uh, uses. Um, and then, of course, when you upgrade it to diamond, uh, it's a lot faster, but it uses a little more energy, so it only lasts for 150 uses. Um, but as you can see, uh, that was water. Uh, let me fix that. Um, but as you saw, probably, and it's getting rid of all my torches. I'll be back once I clean this mess up. Alright, uh, so I'm back here. I cleaned up that little mess. Um, so as you can see, it's uh, pretty fast, a little bit faster than a diamond uh, pickaxe maybe. And then of course when you upgrade this to diamond, it's a lot, lot faster. Uh, so I'm just going to continue mining uh, like this, and then I'll be back. Alright, and I'm back. Um, I did just a few things off camera. If you notice, I changed back to the default texture pack. Um, uh, someone commented in my last video that I should just use this, so I figured... I'll listen to him, I mean, he's the only person to comment on my videos, so, sure, why not? Uh, so I got, you know, a little bit of resources. I've been trying to find some more diamonds, so I could upgrade this to the diamond drill, um, but I can't. And then I realized that I was, um, I forgot to make something that would probably help a lot for, um, uh, finding diamonds, so I'm going to craft that right now. I believe I just need cobblestone, and I just need to cook this up. So let me do that real quick. Oh, yeah, and I was in cheap mode because I was um I was testing a few things in uh my testing world. I'm trying to set up a crafting system, an automatic sorting system with uh logistics pipes. Uh, so I was just kind of playing with, around with that in there. Um, another thing that I did was uh install uh, iron chests 
So I think eventually I'm going to have to make a room with, uh, like, basically my sorting room and stuff. So I'll probably do that maybe this episode. Um, so as you can see, I made some covalence dust. This is the uh, lowest tier covalence dust. Um, and then this is the second tier. There's one more tier, and it requires a diamond. And I could... Uh, yeah, sure. I guess I'll just make it now. Um, I forget what it requires. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find this out. Uh, oh, cool. Alright, that's easy. So as you can see, it's like a dark blue color, so it goes green, light blue, and dark blue. Um, so what I'm making here, uh, and if you've ever used Equivalent Exchange, uh, you should notice this. Um, this is called the Divining Rod. This is Tier 1 Divining Rod. And uh, basically when you click on something, or on a block, it'll scan like the area ahead of you and tell you uh, what kind of EMC values that it uh, detected. The lowest tier, this one, is not as accurate. Uh, so you could upgrade it by putting the next tier of covalence dust around it. And then, of course, you could also do that with the dark blue covalence dust. Uh, so as you see, I have that there. I'm just going to put some stuff away. Uh, put that away. I have a lot of cobble. I'll definitely need to uh, make another room just for chests and stuff. Uh, so let me go downstairs and I'll show you how that works. Alright, so if you've ever played around with uh, Equivalent Exchange, uh, you should know that each block, each item has a specific EMC value. And basically what the dividing rod is, is it searches uh, in front of you and tells you what the best uh, is. Uh, this one it will tell you the best, the second, and the third. Uh, obviously, under best found, if you could see over there, it's uh, 8,192. That's diamonds, so uh, I'm going to go after that. Uh, so basically just dig in this direction. You could also change the mode. Uh, as, you could, as you could see, there's a short range, mid range, and long range, which I was on, which searches 64 blocks in front of you. Uh, so I'm just kind of trying to figure out how far it is in front of me. It looks like it's more than 16, so I'm going to be digging for a little bit, and I'll, uh, I'll be back when I find it. Alright, and I found it. See, it's right here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and dig this up. Oh, and it's a pretty good amount of diamonds. Oh, wow. Oh, see, look. There's another one of the caves that I found. I was just that much off. And, uh, so the divining rod is definitely an important tool to have. Uh, definitely want to get that early, and of course me, uh, being stupid, uh, just forgot. And it looks like my drill ran out of power. Uh, another thing that I did while off camera, is I crafted another battery and just charged that up. So you can see, as I'm holding, uh, or I'm just holding down the right mouse button, um, it's charging my, uh, uh, drill. And this will work with pretty much anything, uh, that you have that requires power. Um, obviously you're not going to get much of a charge if you were to like hold your quantum suit leggings or something, uh, that would just be kind of silly. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, that's just so I can be down here longer and I don't have to go up these stairs as often. Um, so obviously this is quite a hike, so I'll be back when I get up there. Alright, and I'm back, uh, so what I'm going to do first is upgrade this to a diamond drill. Uh, so let's go test this out real quick. Just go down here. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty darn fast. Um, I don't really care about that cobblestone. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, little like storage area room. Um, so I think I'm just going to build off in this direction. Alright, so I got my room here. Um, obviously there's no roof, so it's not finished. But I noticed that we're pretty close to that 15 minute mark. So uh, I'm going to have to wrap it up here. And next episode I will uh, start the sorting system that's going to be in this room. So this is Dronic at 1313. Uh, until next time, uh, see ya.